or maybe we, we talk about Namukai mm -hmm. that you have homes that are built but empty because most of them are here in uh, in the urban areas. When in the urban areas. Non <laughs> and well, this is for you that are, you're actually logging in outside Fiji and you say to yourself, okay, they're talking about Fiji and the Fiji residents and everybody about Fiji. You know, how do I fit in? Well, whichever country that you are in and you have left Fiji to go for shows and uh, maybe you went to with your family or you started your family in that nation, uh, never stop you from planning as well. The same thing that we're talking about here. Uh, you plan your property and you ask around, you know, how do I get a property? How do I qualify to buy a property? And about the cost of those properties. So you keep on searching, keep on looking, and you keep on writing. And also, how do you get your car? You know, like when we travel and we see the cars are very cheap. Yes. Maybe the cost of uh, keeping them, the maintenance, you know, maintenance cost is going to be high or the fees that you pay. Uh, but those are part of the cost you have to own. Those are the part of the cost that you will not be able to avoid. Um, and then you continue to write down. What about your citizenship? Have you, you know, uh, gone through with your papers? Or are you still trying to get a visa? Or you enter the country through your work visa? Are you still working on your other visa? So all those things that, that will cost you money, continue to write it down. And push yourself to achieve it. Or maybe your, your children have grown and then they will need to go to university. Uh, start, uh, you know, getting the information. Don't wait until they come of age. Uh, get your choices and get your... Um, available resources and then you talk about it as a family you know moving forward this is the way to go uh, this is the way to go you can do this because some of you when you're in Fiji you really struggle but when you go and you see good life don't don't get carried away with that good life you still go with that zeal and that passion that you have made it work here in Fiji and then you can even make it greater uh, there outside Fiji uh, I remember this couple or uh, there's this particular family the Rondrondro family I used to go up, uh, you know, up and down to uh, England. And uh, one particular uh, service that we were in, uh, they brought in this ticket, uh, registration of their company in uh, Wales, uh, to be prayed over. And, uh, you know, when they was prayed over that particular Sunday, I was really inspired, uh, you know, to think uh, not only they're very young, uh, maybe in their 30s, uh, they have uh, three beautiful children. Yeah, three beautiful children. Uh, they have Manasseh, Esther, and uh, Ephraim. And uh, they bought their home in, uh, um, in rugby. So they have a, a beautiful uh, home. And they purchased their house, they purchased their property, and they also registered their company. And not only that, they have their own uh, you know, work uh, that they belong to. And, and for me, when I look at that, boy, that's great. You know, it's uh, great planning. Uh, on their part, very young, but they have achieved most or achieved more. And uh, I hear about uh, you know this particular uh, gentleman who also uh, a church goer and full time has uh, a wife and three little children. And you know just to hear him testify and hear him talk about his plan, uh, they, they he actually testified that 